morning, Phoenix High School. I'm Grace Prechtel. I hope you guys all enjoyed your three-day weekend. And I'm Bailey Tony. Our first announcement is for all seniors. Today during advisory, there will be a senior grad night meeting in the theater. Also, speech and debate hosted a mock congress earlier this month. There were over 40 competitors. Lucas Gandy placed fourth overall. Michael Furlong placed fifth. Morgan Altman placed sixth. And Madison Fetro placed tenth. Phoenix also went to a tournament last weekend in Grants Pass with Michael Furlong placing in the top three. For any Lady Pirates interested in playing soccer, there is open gym every Sunday from 4 to 6 in the PHS small gym. On another soccer note, the Pirates to Raiders program has picked back up and will be every Wednesday after school until spring break. You can visit Javier in the college corner if you have any questions. As you may know, our basketball teams have been doing a really good job this year. The girls fell short to Henley last week and Friday beat North Valley by a score of 41-25. to The boys competed hard but dropped a close contest to Henley and lost to North Valley on Friday. Delaney and Jesse created a segment to introduce you to the girls' team, so let's take a look. Bring out, bring out. Bailey Talley, sophomore, guard. Delaney Talley, senior, guard. Tell me what you really want from me. Point blank, no discussion. Close mouth. Amanda Scapp. Junior, guard. Alyssa Wallach, sophomore, guard. Close mouth, ow, I'll give it to you, no interruption. Haley Weinkoop, junior, guard. Close mouth, ow, I'll give it to you, no interruption. Erica Marshall, junior, forward. Tell me one time that you want me. I promise that I won't say nothing. Bailey Tony, junior, forward. Emma Hickman, freshman, forward. Sh shut it up, sh sh shut it up. I'll give it to you, no interruption. Casey Hamilton, junior, forward. Alyssa Brown, senior, post. No discussion. I'll give it to you, no interruption. Bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Come on. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey. Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah. Those of you interested in pursuing a medical career should check out MedStars. MedStars is a summer residential experience at Oregon Health and Science University designed to help high school students learn more about exploring their options in pursuing a health care career. Applications are now being accepted for MedStars 2013. This is a highly competitive week-long camp, and they will only be accepting 10 students from our region. Applications are due April 5th. Also, the Mobile Health Clinic will start coming to the high school every Thursday at 8 a.m. starting February 7th. For those of you taking Mrs. Carvalho's cooking class, you will meet in room 107A, which is the room next to Mr. Walker's. Also, students in grades 10 through 12 interested in My Future, My Choice can start picking up applications in the library on Wednesday. If you have any questions, you can see Ms. Haig. As many of us well know, Mrs. Carvalho was helping raise money for the Sparrow by offering to dye her hair fire engine red or platinum blonde. I am sure many of you are excited to see the results, so Jordan Stevens created a segment to show you which color is in the lead. This just in, the race for dyeing Mrs. Carvalho's hair is rounding to the end, with blonde and a head by only about $6, and red falling behind. So, let's bring your contributions by and let's make sure Antonio has a great knowledge. Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to see which color she'll dye it. In other news, the theater department competed in the regional acting competition this weekend. Julia Holden Hunkins, Jordan Cottrell, and Allie Anderson placed as regional, regional finalists, while Courtney Crawford and Brad Zentgraf will be competing at state. Congrats to Courtney and Brad. Also, DECA will be meeting Wednesday at 1229 in Mr. Carvalho's room, so make sure to be there. In FFA news, there will be a food drive sponsored by Les Schwab. Our Phoenix chapter will be trying to raise 50,000 pounds of canned food during the month of February. They will be competing against other chapters in Oregon, so try and bring in as much food as you can and bring it to the front office to put in the barrel. And for anyone interested in SAT prep classes through SOU, they will start February 12th and go through March 7th. The fee is $195 and there will be a study guide included. 
If you have any questions, you can go see Javier in the College Corner. Attention faculty, the Community 101 Group in Leadership has $1,000 to give out to anyone who wants to apply. For more information, go see Mrs. Hale or visit the leadership class during fourth period. Many of us have noticed the La Clinica bus outside of the school and may be wondering what it's doing here. Adam and Jonathan have made a segment to show you what they're doing. La Clinica Mobile Health Center is at our school to help anybody who needs medical or dental attention. They will also be doing physicals for anybody who's in sports. It is absolutely free to sign in with the attendance office. They are here every Monday from 8 to 12 and will soon be starting on Tuesdays. Thanks for that video, guys. Well, I guess it's time for trivia. And last, last week's question was, when is senior night for basketball? And the winner is? Haley Winecoop in Mrs. Lang's class. She answered February 8th. Congratulations, Haley. You won some services from Sunfire Tanning and Salon. This week's question is, how many pounds of canned food is FFA trying to raise? As we wrap up our show, we would like to remind you to stick around for the pledge and the electives video. That is part of your advisory lesson today. As always, this has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.